house tonight. Amen. There we are. World Wildlife Ministry Podcast on the air. Uh, live at Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, and Anchor. Let's get our church on its feet, my friends. Let's get going here. Let's get everybody ready to go, my friends. It is Wednesday Late Night Podcast. I'm your host, Pastor Rick Rowley, here live. It is Wednesday, the Midweek Podcast. Uh, I took a couple of days off, my friends. We have uh, been uh, redoing my uh, stove for the winter. Gearing up for the winter out here, you know, the snow's going to get deep and it's going to get cold, so uh, we're uh, winterizing the studio here, and uh, so we've been off the air for uh, a couple of days, I think since the, uh, what was it, Sunday, the 22nd or so, uh, which would have been just a couple of days here, so a few days anyway, uh, so... Uh, yeah, so that's what's going on. That's why I haven't been on the air for uh, the last uh, couple of nights here. And uh, still kind of battling with the fly situation. Uh, but, uh, oh, I got something for them. So probably in the next few days here, uh, maybe by Friday, uh, I'll be back on YouTube Live. So you guys can catch me back over there uh, with Blog Talk Radio, YouTube, and Anchor. And then I'll move uh, around the 7, 7.30 time slot for uh, Spreaker.com with our LinkedIn channel and uh, probably live cast. So uh, lots of activities, lots of stuff going on. And then, oh, I forgot to tell you, uh, <laughs> we'll be closing out uh, about 9.30 or between 9.30 and 10 o'clock uh, back on Twitter live with Periscope and uh, IGTV, uh, which is uh, the ministry channel over at Instagram, and as well as Ustream TV. So, a uh, few changes coming up here, uh, you know, to uh, just step up this podcast, step up this mission, and uh, step up our, uh, you know, this uh, the uh, podcast here. Uh, and I'm also uh, still uploading over at steam.com or steamtv.com. Uh, I haven't uh, gotten on there the last two days. Like I said, we've got my half of my, uh, well, all the stove and uh, part of the, not all of it, but part of the wall is uh, taken out. So I had to uh, crank up the heaters, get the extra winter blankets out. And uh, make sure we have plenty of coffee. Well, friends, I hope you're ready to go because uh, we're going to be looking uh, at the uh, book of Matthew. And then I'm going into the Orthodox Study Bible and taking a look, kind of recapping, uh, in the book of Revelation again. I uh, Taking a look at the Eternal Kingdom. And, uh, there's a couple other ones I want to look at too, but I haven't been in there for a while. Uh, so hang on, make sure I close my window. Oh, uh, my friends. So <laughs> that's what's going on. You're caught up. You're up to speed. You're in the know. And uh, let me get some coffee. Uh, so I think we're ready to go. We've got our uh, big book of love. You know, our Bibles, of course, our life. Uh, nice, fresh cup of coffee. And uh, the Word of God, of course. And uh, pens, papers, notebook tablets, highlighters. Because, you know, I'm always going to throw some scriptures at you. Uh, so, friends, let's get into the uh, midweek podcast. Wednesday, midweek podcast, live on the air. at uh, uh, Again, like I said, Anchor, Blog Talk Radio, and Spreaker. iHeart Radio, of course. Uh, so you can catch these podcasts uh, not only on iHeartRadio, uh, iTunes, uh, and so much more. Plus, not only that, plus, my friends, uh, all 
the like iTunes, uh, Apple products, uh, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, like I said, and uh, Spotify. So much more. A plethora of podcast channels for you to catch uh, all the all the exciting program, all the exciting uh, podcast messages live right here in the studio. Uh, hey man, well, it, like I said, it's been a, a kind of a productive. Well, I wouldn't say kind of, but it has been a very productive uh, last couple of days. Uh, winterizing the studio, uh, getting some more stuff done, and uh, fixing the stove. So, ah, uh, mercy. All right, well, Heavenly Father, oh, I thank you right now, and I, you know, I give this all to you. Uh, as I continue this message, I thank you. Uh, uh, you know, I just thank you. I lay it all out for you, and as I continue to do these podcasts, and I, I just glory in you, and I give it all to you for your glory, uh, and just thank you for this mission that you have called me to do. Uh, it's not been easy, but I know i got to endure till the end, Father God, and I thank you for that, for calling me and putting me on this path of straight and narrow. Uh, Father God, I always want to lift up my family, my friends, everybody hearing and listening and watching and, uh, you know, that's um, uh, watching these podcasts, hearing these podcasts. I lift them up right now. Whatever situation they're dealing with, whatever they're going through, I lift them up in your name so that, uh, you know, that they be, uh, put your angels around them, send your angels around them, Father God, you know, watch over and protect them and give them that hope and encouragement that they need because uh, the devil comes in there to kill still and destroy and he comes in there to you know just to shake them up get their get the attention uh, off of you and on uh, themselves and on on the devil so that we're not going to listen to that report uh, God at all we're gonna follow you follow your path and, and keep having that uh, that joy peace and hope and in, in being uh, encouraged uh, by the eternal life uh, that your promises God oh Father God I thank you so much and uh, just give this over to you your spirit's welcome here or the spirit is welcome here uh, you know God we're walking in your presence we're living in your presence and we uh, we thank you always thank you for everything you provide. Uh, we know it's uh, all of you, and I know it's none of me. This is your your calling, God, and I, I'm just, uh, I'm just in awe at how awesome you are. I uh, praise you, honor and glory. So in your son's precious name, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. All right, friends. Well, let's get our church back up in the house. Oh, we're ready to go, my friends. We are ready to go. I've got so much for you right out of the gate, right off the bat. You know I always do, right? Come on now. <laughs> Amen. Now let me get uh, my coffee covered up. Uh, still battling, like I said, still battling a few of the flies. Uh, but not too much, you know, it's all right. Well, I'm going to give you, right off the bat, Ephesians 2.1 and John 5.24. And then uh, we're getting into the Lord's Prayer. Uh, I told you that, uh, you know, about a week or so uh I, I have not been doing that. And uh, Spirit reminds me and says, Hey, wait a minute. You need to get that message out. So let me, uh, <laughs> let me double check my volume level here. There we go. We got it at the headphone so I can hear it pretty clear. You guys might hear that. That's our commercial uh, over at uh, Spreaker.com right now on the air. All right. 
Sounds good. Make sure uh, that we've got we've got the volume uh, situation situated. All right, so let's get into Ephesians 2.1 and John 5.24. Mark that down in your notes. I was dead in trespasses and sin, and death possessed me, but God has made me alive. I have already passed from death to life. I am now possessing eternal life. I now enjoying eternal life, or I am now enjoying eternal life, and I have crossed the boundary from death to life. I have been translated from the death region to that of life. Amen. All right, I love that scripture. Because uh, we are a new creature, a new creation in Christ, reborn. Amen, and that's good. So, all right. Looks like my goats, the goats are getting active out there. Something's going on, uh, but that's okay. They don't bother me. They're getting excited about that word, my friends. All right. Well, let's get into it. Let's open up with the Lord's Prayer. Uh, my friends, let me check the volume issue again real quick here. Lots of, lots of stuff going on, so... Uh, make sure I can hear the volume level okay. Amen. All right, give me a second here, friends. All right. So, let me give it a check here. There we go. Commercials. And there is our show. All right. Lord's Prayer, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Uh, hang on. Uh, uh, oh, hang on, my friends. Just a second here. Uh, for some reason, I just got disconnected on, on Blog Talk again. Why they keep doing this, I have no idea. I don't know. Hold on here, friends. We've got disconnected from our uh, Blog Talk radio channel. So let me get back in here, find out what's going on with it again. They're dropping the call again for some reason. So give me a minute here, find out what's going on. All right. Why, thank you. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, friend. So every once in a while, if it does, uh, we may lose. We may be losing like a signal or something. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, I'll try to make sure we reconnect uh, as soon as possible for our Blog Talk radio listeners. All right, well, let's pick back up on the Lord's Prayer again. Uh, I'm going to just start it over again, all right? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And thank you for my blessings. I know you, Jesus, Son of God, died on the cross for me, so I can be forgiven for my sins and receive the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for my sins and fall on me with your Holy Spirit. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. And I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, please show me my purpose in life and how I can better serve you. That will be done, not my will. I pray this prayer, Jesus, in your holy name. Amen. Man, my friends. Well, there you go. Uh, bringing that back up. You know, we got the shout-out list. And, of course, we're going to go right into our armor of God. Because we've got to put that on every day. Uh, without a doubt. You see what's going on in the world. You see how uh, out of control things have been and are getting. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, basically... Uh, you know, this is the end times, and 
We've got to be prepared. We've got to be ready. Right? Well, let me go in real quick here, friends. By the way, let me go into Matthew 11, 28, and 30. I think you know that one, so put that down in your notes. Uh, and I'm, I'm actually going to bring that back up. Uh, let's see, where are we going to go? Right to 25. So let's go ahead and look at 25. I hope you have your Bibles out tonight, uh, as I always do the Bible study. Amen. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Uh, just bringing you a uh, Bible study, in-depth look at the Bible, and uh, I am going to be doing these daily now. I, 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 uh, you know, again with the Wi-Fi connections and the in the uh, you know the distractions and stuff, uh, the enemy definitely throws those fiery darts at us, you know, and he's. Uh, but uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make it my effort, my friends. To be on here every day, do these daily podcasts, uh, and I'm shooting for four o'clock. Uh, that's my target. That's my time target, uh, and that's the intent of uh, up, uh, like stepping up these podcasts. Uh, so, stand by to my Twitter channel, friends. Go ahead and go over there to the Twitter, and of course, YouTube Live World Wildlife Ministry Podcast at the YouTube channel. And uh, let's get them subs up. Let's uh, let's bring some more people into the ministry channel here, friends. So let's go ahead and look at uh, Matthew uh, chapter 11. And uh, let's start out at verse 25, okay? All right. And at that time, Jesus answered and said, I thank thee... Oh, let's see. What did he say? Let me go here. O oh, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because of, because thou hast hid these things from wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Side scriptures again. Uh, Psalm eight two and Luke ten twenty one. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal in him. Or reveal in him. Matthew 28, 18 and John one eighteen, And he says in 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. Jeremiah 6, 16. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. All right, friends, so if you're feeling overloaded, overwhelmed, uh, like you can't go on another minute, another day, another hour, well, go into your Bibles, friends, and look at this scripture. This will give you hope and encouragement. Uh, you know, I, I know. I know it's not easy. Uh, you know, I battle this with this podcast all the time. Uh, you know, and I've told you guys enough about that, so I'm not going to I'm not going to do that tonight. Uh, but uh, you know, we we get we get beat down in this physical, you know, this physical world. That if we keep spiritual, like spiritually minded, you know, not in our flesh. Well, it's not easy, but it does equip us and it does make it uh, so we can adjust a little bit quicker and uh, bring ourselves out of it because we know who's in us, right? And, uh, you know, of course, Jesus died on the cross for us. He died on the cross for our sins and, uh, you know, wiped them out, past, present, future. And uh, so that's that should be our motivation, friends. When you wake up in the morning, just utter those words. Thank you, God, for everything. You know, do say a little prayer and put your armor on. Uh, which we're going to take a look at here in Ephesians six ten through twenty, uh, of course in the King James uh, version, of course you know that's. Uh, but uh, yeah, just you know, 
Uh, just keep trusting in him, friends. It's not. It's definitely not easy, but uh, it, he does equip us and he does give us the uh, courage and the hope uh, and the strength. Because you know, like I always tell you, God is the encourager, and the devil is the discourager. He wants us to be beaten down. Uh, he doesn't want us to prosper, and uh, he wants all our focus completely scattered with all kinds of nonsense. Uh, and that's what, you know, this is what I've been preaching on these podcasts. This is why I do this. Because uh, God has called me into that. And it's like, I know, I've been trained, I've been known and shown so much. And uh, so this is my way of giving back. Uh, and uh, as I'm looking up a scripture here, <laughs> Uh, and I, you know, like I said, I, I like doing this. I, I love doing this, and I have to have that passion. Uh, we've got to find that passion to serve God. Uh, because, uh, you know, He had a passion for us. He gave His only begotten Son, died on the cross for us. Uh, so, what are you doing, friends? Uh, we've got to pick this up and, and uh, keep having that faith, that trust, and uh, knowing that that he died in our place. He became the propitiation, the sacrifice for us. And that just blows me away. That is just, every time I start getting into it and go, oh, I don't want to do this no more. Well, look at, look at what Jesus did for us. And uh, so, oh my gosh, friends. All right. So let me, I'm looking up this uh, scripture here real quick. I wanted to get this in here before the armor of God. So let's let's get here and find this. Oh wait, I know what a <laughs> Oh, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. Alright. Uh that's what I was gonna go to, friends. Go to your Bibles real quick. Before we even do this, go to your Bibles real quick. Go into Deuteronomy 31, 6 and 8. Right? And then we'll get the armor on here. Uh, are you there yet, friends? I'm going to get some coffee here and uh, wait until you hear it. And then when you get it, give me an amen, right? All right. Amen. Amen. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake me, or thee, uh, Deuteronomy one twenty nine and First Chronicles. Uh, we're gonna go into twenty two thirteen. Amen. All right, verse seven. And Moses called unto Joshua and said unto him, The sight of all Israel, be strong and of a good courage, for thou must go with this people unto the land which the Lord hath sworn unto their fathers to give them, and thou shalt cause them to inherit it. Deuteronomy 1, 38. And verse 8. And the Lord, he it is, that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee, nor are neither forsake thee. Fear not, neither be dismayed. Well, there you go, friends. There you go. Be encouraged. Uh, be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. Uh, like I said, it is a, uh, it's tough out there, it's rough, but uh, we don't have to be afraid, we don't have to be scared, uh, we will endure to the end, and uh, send that devil right back to the pit of hell. He's got no business with us, right? Uh, no, no way. All right, so let's, uh, I know I'm getting shifted, like major shifts right now. What a Holy Spirit rush tonight, friends. I'm glad to be with you here uh, in the studio. All right. Well, let's... Uh, I, I've got to, I have to do this, friends. i got to throw this in there. Uh, spirit shift alert here, friends. Psalm 91. Let's go right on over. I told you we're having a Bible study here. Amen. Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. All right, I think I wrote down the wrong uh, the wrong chapter or page here. Give me a second, friends, would you? All right. 
Sometimes I get so excited about this word, I put the wrong uh, page down here. So I want to make sure. All right, hang in there, friends. Give me a second. And we're back. <laughs> Amen. All right. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. This is Here's His promises, friends. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Psalm 142, verse 5. We're talking about the shadow of the Almighty. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. And under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalm 17 verse 8. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day, Job 5.19, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Psalm thirty-seven, thirty-four, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. And a sleeping monitor again. Alright. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. In Proverbs twelve twenty-one. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Psalm 34, verse 7, and Luke 4, 10. Thy shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Job 5, 23. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou tremble under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Psalm 9.10 He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. First Samuel 2.30 with long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Amen. That is my go-to in the pocket scripture. Whenever I have the down in the dumps, uh, discouragement, uh, getting into my own self and my own flesh uh, days. Uh, friends, that's why we need this word. We need a savior, brothers and sisters. Amen. Is my church, you know what, is my church still awake here? Are we Are we not on our feet? Amen. Praise God. That's right. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody tonight. I'm excited uh, again to be back on the air. Uh, I took a couple of days out to, like I said, top of the hour. Uh, we're doing some winterizing uh, in the studio and uh, gearing up for snow already this weekend. They're talking about snow this weekend already. Uh, <laughs> man, I better make sure I have my boots and my winter jackets here too. All right, well, let's armor up while we, we're on the air here. Uh, let's take a look at Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, friends. Finally, my brothers and sisters... Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Watch this, friends. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye 
may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand because there is more family stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having on the breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace above all taking the shield of faith wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked as we segue right into first peter 5 8 and 9 where is that uh, note? You know what it says, friends. Let's take a look at it here. Brothers and sisters, 1 Peter 5, 8, 9 reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, in verse 9, steadfast in the faith, knowing that, that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. Uh, again, that ties right into right here with uh, Ephesians six ten through twenty. All right, there we go. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which we know, uh, friends, uh, is the word of God, the Bible. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. And for me, that honors may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly uh, as I ought to speak. Amen. And you get some extra homework here, friends. Romans 10, 9, 21. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. All right. So much, my friends. So much on the plate tonight here, as usual. Uh, of course, let's see where we're at with that one. Uh, da, 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 da. I know. <laughs> no singing. I can't help it. I'm excited. I'm giddy with the word of God tonight, friends. The uh, spirit is flowing. Uh, and I am glad to be here. I am humbled to keep bringing you this message. Uh, good or bad, I appreciate you guys holding on, standing by with me. Uh, you know, I do have, uh, I do have some preaching in me, <laughs> amen, uh, as it should be, right, all right, all right, hang on here, I'm trying to look for this other scripture here before we get into the other one here, all right, and as usual, you know, my notes, uh, always got something going on with them. All right. Where is that at? And are we there? Are we there? All right. Don't fall asleep, my friends. No sleeping. <laughs> Amen. All right. What do we got? 1725, chapter 10. There we go, friends. Let's, before I even do the other one here, uh, now let me finish out First uh, Peter 5, 8, 9 again. Let's go back up to the notes here. Now the devil is seeking those he may devour. But there's a class of people who, uh, whom he may not devour. Now as believers, we are part of that class. But when things begin to get difficult, friends, watch this. Uh, we must remember who's on the inside. Now, that same spirit who raised up Christ from the dead lives in us. As you take a look at Romans 8.11. Now, this is the same spirit who was with Jesus when he walked on water, fed the 5,000, and performed all those miracles. Uh, family, that same spirit is in each of us. And we can't forget. Now, stand strong and immovable in the authority that Jesus died to give you. Now watch this, friends. So when the devil comes against us, and we can boldly stand up and say, you may not devour me, Mr. Devil Dude. 
Uh, brother, you better get to stepping and get behind me, Satan. That's right, Mr. Devil. You have no right. You have no authority. In the name of Jesus, you have to leave me alone. And make that personal, friends. Take that personal and say, Devil, get behind me. You have no authority. And uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, there you go, friends. Just a little side note, side scripture here. Uh, I wanted to go in real quick here. I wanted to go into uh, Romans. Uh, what was that? Romans 10, 9 through 21. Oh, my gosh. Lots to get. I told you. Hey, if you are if you want to have a Bible study, you're in the right place. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on here. All right. So here we go, friends. Uh, Romans chapter 10 and uh, 921. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal for God. you got to ask yourself, friends. Do you have a zeal for our Lord and Savior, Yeshua, Yahweh? Amen. Galatians 1, 14. Uh, let me backtrack here. But not according to knowledge. Uh, again, Galatians 1, 14. All right. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness... And going about to establish their own righteousness, have no, uh, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. Romans one seventeen. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. Uh, Matthew five seventeen. For Moses describeth the righteousness, which is of the law, that the man which doeth those things uh, shall live by them. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise, saying, Not in thine heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Deuteronomy thirty twelve, Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring up Christ again from the dead. But what saith it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thine heart, or thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. All right. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. There's your memory verse of the night, friends. Uh, Romans chapter 10. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. In 11, for the scripture saith, friends, here's part of your, uh, the next verse for your uh, scripture for the night. For the scripture saith, what does the scripture saith, Pastor, tonight? It says, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Isaiah 28, 16. Oh, I hope you're not ashamed of the gospel, my friends. The good news gospel. Preach it. Say it loud. Amen. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. Have you called upon that name, my friends? For whosoever shall call upon that name of the Lord shall be saved. Joel 2.32 How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? 
as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Part of the fivefold ministry. Uh, Isaiah 5, uh, 52, verse 7. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah, or Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then, my friends, you know this one. I hope you know it. Uh, write this down in your memory verses tonight. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. And, and that's why, again, friends, that's why I repeat a lot of the scriptures uh, over and over again, uh, not only for for you guys, but for myself as well, uh, because I get I, I get pulled into that that, that anxiety, that depression. Uh, like you know, like I told you a billion times, I've been uh, you know, uh, what's the word? Come on now, <laughs> hey man, uh, transparent with you. Uh, you know, this is just me preaching the word. I, I'm just on the air live. Uh, preaching this gospel, uh, what I know and what I what I've learned and what I've been taught, uh, and so I get pulled into that. The devil just kind of pulls me right into it and uh, keeps badgering me about, uh, oh, you don't need to, you know, nobody cares. Uh, well, turn it down, devil. Uh, I'm changing the channel, and I got nothing to. Li- I I don't even want to hear it. Right? Tell the devil, I don't want to hear it. I got something better going on. God's got a bigger plan, a better plan for me. Uh, Amen. And, well, you know, send him back to hell where he belongs. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, verily their sound went into all the earth, and their words unto the ends of the world. But I say, did not Israel... Ah... Hang on, sleeping monitors here. Uh, where did I go? But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses saith, I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you. But he saith, is very bold, and he saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. Isaiah 65, verse 1. But to Israel he saith all day long, I have stretched forth my hands unto a disobedient and gainsaying people. Uh, Isaiah 65 and 2. All right, so. All right, you're armored up, my friends. Uh, I'm so excited about being here, my friends. Can you tell? Uh, like I said, I always got lots to give you, lots of scriptures tonight. Uh, well, every podcast, you know, I'm loaded with uh, messages and stuff. So I am going to take a look uh, as I kind of maneuver a couple of things. Uh, I wanted to take a look, but I am. Let's go right into this shout out list here, friends. Well, for Anchor, uh, I have decided to kind of go back on there about an hour or so. Uh, I'm in the process of, uh, well, I've already emailed. Uh, the company and asked them about uh, the extension hours. So hopefully, uh, we'll get more time with them. So once that goes off the air here in about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, I'll continue the Bible study, uh, as I always do, with Blog Talk Radio and our Spreaker. Now, if you happen to have, you know, the apps, the app, where the, you find your apps, uh, go ahead and go over to Spreaker Radio app. Dot com or something like that. I guess it's in an app form. Uh, also over at the uh, Apple App Store. Uh, it's available uh, worldwide on all your app forms. Uh, Spreaker Radio app. And uh, that's how you can listen to these podcasts. Of course, iHeartRadio, Spotify, uh, SoundCloud, Stitcher, uh, Radio 1, it's amazing. It's amazing how God moves and pushes these, you know, these messages out. Of course, you know this, the, you know, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Facebook page, uh, which we'll get into here in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's just amazing uh, what God uh, pushes out. All right, so <laughs> let me go back, uh, and I do appreciate you guys uh, getting on there with me. You know, and uh, 
supporting it. So go ahead and jump over to the YouTube channel. Uh, if you can, I want to get these subs up. Uh, you know, uh, I, I enjoy doing these, and uh, I'm going to be bringing these to you every single day. Uh, targeting that 4 o'clock time start, Pacific Mountain Time, uh, if you will. And, of course, uh, at our Facebook page, here's a shout-out list, friends. Brother Mark, thank you so much. Uh, over at Facebook, uh, the Facebook page, the Christian Watchers of the 2017-2024 Solar Eclipses Group, friends. Jump on over there. Go say howdy. Stay in your lane and be nice, right? Brother Mark, thanks again. Miss Jackie over at Twitter, Periscope, Facebook Live, Monday through Sunday doing that midnight prayer, that midnight scope. Uh, we've got the prayer request line available 24-7 over at Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast uh, at yahoo.com. And, of course, all the major podcast channels worldwide. So jump on that. And, uh, like I said, let's, let's get the subs up. Uh, the subscriptions up over at our YouTube channel, friends. Amen. All right, we got Miss Tiffany Blackwell Ministries over at YouTube, Facebook, and live more all over the place. Amen. Always praying for our sister in, in uh, over in Ireland, uh, Miss Jada Franson online. Go check that out. And send her a prayer, would you? All right, my precious visitors, family, and friends. On all the podcast channels all over the world, you guys are awesome and absolutely amazing, and I appreciate your support there. Uh, of course, we got some local sisters in Christ here. Uh, my friend Christina, Susan, Nancy, Laura, and Carla for the use of the laptop. Thank you, dear. And, of course, uh, at uh, Twitter, uh, MyCBN, Twitter, Periscope, all the uh, social media channels. That's awesome. Uh, Miss Sophie, all the way out in Switzerland, uh, doing well, and I uh, appreciate that. All right. Miss Kitty, of course, and my friend Addie at, at Twitter, and Tisha. Amen. Miss Jamina Arroyo, uh, my newest friend over at uh, Twitter, over at uh, iTunes and YouTube and Spotify, of course, uh, in Argentina. That is awesome and amazing. Uh, at Twitter. And then, of course, my friend uh, Midori in Japan. Konnichiwa. Domo. Arigato. All right. Amen. Uh, so, page two. Right? We're getting more and more friends on here. If you'd like to get on the shout-out list, email me, my friends. Let me know, and uh, I'll get you on the on the uh, personal shout out list here friends because of God's grace love and mercy all right right here is Spreaker some new friends Radio Piacenza and Radio Sound 83 in Romana Italy and our latest uh, friends uh, adding on here N3 Radio in Steubenville Ohio all right all right, we got Brother Neil Render Ministry out in Chicago, YouTube, uh, MyCBN, and Facebook. Go check it out. What a power that is. Hey, Amen. MyCBN, of course, Pastor Oni in Japan. That's our pastor's list, our, the ones that are feeding the flock. Uh, amen. The shepherds. Uh, we got Pastor J. David Ford, his wife Rose, MyCBN, iTunes. Spotify and more, and K1 95.5 FM Power Radio. Check it out, friends. Like I said, I've been listening to them for a while. Uh, boy, oh boy, what a powerhouse radio that is. What a, just an inspiration uh, to listen to that. So go ahead and check them out, friends, in Ennis, Texas. Amen. Pastor Rodney Francis Ministries online in New Zealand. Still praying uh, for them there. Of course, I did that message, uh, Repentance. A message for the church it is a warning uh, to the lukewarm Christians, pastors, and churches. Uh, we got to be on our toes, my friends, preaching this good news gospel. Can't lead. We cannot lead the sheep astray, uh, based in leaning on our own understanding. Uh, without the Holy Spirit being available, without the Holy Spirit being there, we can't just preach on our own. Uh, it's just this. So check this message out. I'm bringing this back here. 
probably in the next few days, maybe over the weekend, uh, I'll be bringing this message back out. I finally got all my notes done. Now I'm just I'm going through the whole book of Psalms uh, to uh, finish that out. So uh, stand by, hold that thought. Don't go nowhere because oh, I've got plenty for you, friends. Amen. All right, Pastor Michael Holcomb over at Bible Days Ministries at iHeartRadio and more. Uh, we got Pastor David Lee and, of course, out in Toronto, Canada. Uh, the Christ Forgiveness Ministries online at YouTube, Facebook Live, and more. Uh, talk about uh, hitting the fire. Uh, you know, it's like Daniel cast into the uh, cast into the fire, and the uh, angels protected him. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, Melchizedek uh, believed. And uh, we'll have to go into Daniel. You know, we'll have to we'll have to go into the book of Daniel again here real soon. Uh, of course, you know we have our prayer chain going, still going strong. Millions worldwide, and uh, that is awesome. We got to keep praying for the you know these shootings that are going on all over the country. Uh, all right, so we got to keep that going, friends. We can't, uh, we can't let up. Uh, let me take a quick notes here. So uh, you know what happened out there. So Gilroy, California, El Paso, Texas, Dayton, Ohio, Midland, and Odessa, Texas, and of course, you know, like I said, there was hundreds, or not hundreds, but there was more after that. And so we have to keep. Uh, them in our in our mind, you know, and uh, keep them in our thoughts and prayers. Uh, right. So uh, now, quick note here, friends. Just a, a quick note. Uh, probably uh, it'll be probably Friday uh, before I actually get back on uh, the YouTube live channel again. Uh, so uh, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I should be back here. Uh, I'm thinking 4.30 tomorrow afternoon, friends. So uh, stay tuned. Thursday podcast. We are after midnight now, so we are going right into Thursday morning here. Uh, and uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, so uh, stand by. Uh, it should be about 4.30 in the afternoon. We are trying to finish up this uh, the, the you know the stove and all that stuff uh, for uh, the studio uh, trying to winterize and and get the uh, you know get the things covered up so you know because we are hey we're getting some snow this weekend uh, here in the Pacific Northwest uh, Washington State so uh, that's uh, yeah so that's what's happening so probably about 4:30 today uh, and uh, just right back here. Spreaker, Block Talk Radio, and Anchor. All right, looks like we've got a few minutes here left. Uh, I wish they had more time. I really do. I don't even want to get into this new message because I don't want to run out of time here. Uh, so let me let me go into a couple of things. And uh, Amen. All right. All right, so I'm going to, uh, let's go right here uh, real quick, because we've got just under uh, five minutes here at our anchor channel. So I'll just continue over here. Uh, let's go into Revelation chapter 21. Uh, I, it just caught my attention, because I'm going to go into the Orthodox Study Bible uh, here with uh, the message tonight. It's going to be the eternal kingdom. Uh, in the book of Revelation. So we're just, like I said, just under five minutes here. And I wanted to make sure that uh, we don't lose this channel here while I'm doing this. So, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Rick Riley here live, late night, early morning now. Uh, live over at Blog Talk Radio, uh, Spreaker, and Anchor. And, uh, friends, I'll see you tomorrow, or this afternoon, actually, about 4.30, uh, again, for uh, some new messages. And uh, All right, it's ticking slowly, friends, so I'm trying to make sure that I don't get cut off here, uh, of course. 
before I get into the uh, tonight's main message. All right. Like I said, glad to be here. Uh, I needed a couple of nights off to fix this, uh, fix the studio. I'm still in the process of it. Well, let's close it out real quick here. Hang on, friends. Hold that thought. I'll see you soon. Anchor.com. Worldwide Live Mitch Podcast. Pastor Rick Valley. Late night, early morning podcast. All right. There we go, friends. Now, let's go ahead and go on. What I was saying was, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Uh, chapter 21 in the book of Revelation. Uh, so, uh See it, what happens, friends? All right. A new creation. Revelation chapter 21. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, new Jerusalem, <coughs> coming down out of heaven from God, uh, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying, and there shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. Now, that's see, that's exciting. Uh, you know, it, just imagine, uh, friends, uh, just imagine this, uh, and... Uh, you know, we just we gotta be excited about that, you know. All right, let me get a couple of notes taken care of. All right, so now we're talking about an Orthodox study Bible here. One of my pastor friends gave this to me, and uh, I have been reading, 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 reading my friends through it. And so uh, you can write this down in your memory uh, scriptures and your notes and stuff. Uh, a new creation, chapter uh, twenty-one. Amen. Now let me show you the. Let me read to you the because uh, we got some time here now. Let me go ahead and read you the notes uh, in uh, from chapter twenty-one. The New Testament teaching with uh, or teaching that the present world will pass away. I'm going to throw some scriptures at you, friends, here. Uh, Matthew uh, 5.18. Uh, Mark 13.31. And 1 Colossians 7.31. Uh, also, I'm not done yet. 2 Peter 3.10.13. 1 John 2.17. Now, there's a question for you. Does not mean, or not a question, but uh, here's uh, part of the other uh, notes here. It does not mean, hang on, <laughs> uh, mercy with the computer here. I don't get it. All right. So, now it does not mean the present creation will be utterly destroyed. It will be totally renewed uh, in verse 5, 9, 21. Uh, 21, let's see, 5, 9, 21, 5. Isaiah 65, 17 through 25. Romans 8, 19 through 22. And 2 Colossians 5, 17. And 2 Peter uh, 3, 13. Now, freed from corruption, purified, transfigured, glorified the first cosmos will pass away all right all right give me a second here again all right so 
21 2, the holy city Jerusalem, or New Jerusalem, is the city built by God. Uh, Hebrews 11 10. It is the perfected church, the bride ready for her husband. Christ, the abode of the righteous eternally. Uh, now, the Old Testament prophesied a restored and exalted Jerusalem. Uh, as we take a look at Isaiah 2, 1, 4, uh, 54, 11, 15, 60, uh, verse 1 through 22, 62, 1 through 12, 65, 17 through 25, and Ezekiel 40 through 48, or and 48. So I believe it's uh, the all uh, eight chapters, 40, Ezekiel 40 uh, through 48. 21, 3, and 4. Now the Old Testament also prophesies that God would dwell with his people. The Emmanuel prophecy uh, which is going to be over in Isaiah 7, 14, and also Psalm 45, 5 through 8. It is, it is fulfilled in the Incarnation uh, over in John 1, 4 and seventeen twenty two, but comes to completion in the Messianic age when God will fully dwell or lit in tent with his people, restoring the paradise of old in Genesis 2, uh, Leviticus 26, 11, and 12, Ezekiel 37, 26 to 27, second, let's see, Jeremiah 38, 33, and second Colossians 6, 16. Therefore, joy displaces sorrows and sufferings. Uh, a great consolation for persecuted believers. All right, let's take a look at the eternal kingdom. Let me get my notes here. All right, now a few, uh, few saints have been blessed with a vision of heaven while still in this life. Isaiah saw heaven in uh, Isaiah 6, 1 through 8, as did Ezekiel, uh, which is going to be over in Ezekiel 1, uh, 1 through 28. And the apostle John saw a new heaven, God's eternal heaven, revealed as a city. Uh, as we take a look at Revelation 21, 1 through 22, 5. Right. When we read these passages, we note an abundance of mystical, apocalyptic imagery. But the strong similarities between these passages suggest an inspired consistency of reporting on the visions. The living creatures, the light, uh, the cherubic beings, the throne, and the glory of the Lord all work together to unveil a kingdom of celestial majesty and splendor. All right, more notes. All right, while Confessing with the proper, or the prophet, not proper, the prophet Isaiah and the Apostle Paul, that I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. First Colossians uh, 2.9 We nonetheless find, taking the scriptures as a whole, that the certain things can be said about the eternal kingdom. All right, so I'm going to give you, uh, this is going to be number one through four here. Uh, number one, the saints 
who inhabit God's kingdom live in active fulfillment of his eternal plan. All right, let me give that to you again here, friends. This is number one. The saints who inhabit God's kingdom live in active fulfillment of his eternal plan. In the kingdom, humanity becomes all it is meant to be. There is nothing at all in scripture to suggest that eternal life means people passively afloat on huge white clouds strumming harps unto the age of ages. Uh, let's see, it's continued here. So, Originally created to inhabit paradise, our first parents, we're talking about Adam and Eve here, right? All uh, right. I uh, chose to sin against God and were expelled and were kicked out of the garden. Now the kingdom of God was close to mankind, Genesis 3:24. But God in his love, mercy, right, and grace called his creation back to himself, speaking to us through the law. Uh, and uh, the prophets, and ultimately through his incarnate Son. Uh, though, or through new life, a new life in Jesus Christ, we are brought back to God's mercy, mercy in the new creation. Almost hiccup there. Uh, strange, right? All right, so that's why that part of there with the new creation. Now, his everlasting kingdom uh, as kings and priests we will reign with him forever. Revelation 1.6 All right, that was just number one, friends. Here's number two. We experience a foretaste of the kingdom in the church. Now, the first words of the divine liturgy spoken by the priest are, Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Now, the church at worship centers or ascends to the heavenly kingdom. For it is in the church that we are seated together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 2, six, And are raised to where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Colossians 3.11 Alright, still in number two here. In worship we join the heavenly hosts, the saints and the angels, in giving praise to our God. As the body of Christ, we participate with that great cloud of witnesses in Hebrews 12.1. Surrounding us as we come to the throne of God. Hebrews 12.2. We come liturgically to the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, who are registered in heaven, to God, the judge of all. Uh, Hebrews twelve twenty two through twenty or and twenty three, with a, with this heavenly vision. The Orthodox Church, now this is out of the Orthodox Study Bible, each Sunday remembers not only those in the parish, but all those who in faith have gone on before us to their rest. Amen. All right, verse or number three here. Knowledge 
of the kingdom motivates us to live in complete devotion to Christ. Uh, in this life, we have a foretaste of the kingdom that inspires us to seek its fulfillment. And in Paul's words, For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face, 1 Colossians thirteen twelve, Worship is not a solitary act. Rather, it is the bride of Christ, the one church, those on earth joining with those in heaven, giving thanks to our God and King, who has made us citizens of his magnificent domain. And number four, the Apostle John writes, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it, is ha it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. 1 John 3, 2, and 3. All right. Now, let me backtrack here just a little bit. Uh, it looks like we've got about 20 minutes here left. Uh, so, I uh, appreciate you guys hanging out there. I, I thought it was like an hour and a half, or an hour and 15 minutes. So, uh, But that's okay. We can, uh, you know, we'll take a look here. Uh, at uh, chapter 20 and verse 11 in the book of Revelation. Now God executes judgment from the great white throne in Daniel uh, 7.9. I'm going to throw a lot of scriptures at you on this one. And also, uh, oops. all right, so let me find out what that is. Uh, now, the one who sits on the throne in Revelation is God the Father. Now, I'm going to throw a lot of scriptures at you. And this is all in the book of Revelation. Uh, 4, 2, 9. Chapter 5, 1, uh, 1 7, 13. Uh, 6, 16, 7, 10. Now, however, in the rest of the New Testament, Christ is a judge on the throne. Matthew twenty five thirty one through forty six, John five twenty two, and Acts ten forty two, seventeen thirty one. Also over in Second uh, Colossians, I think that's second uh, five ten. I believe that is. Now John is about to show their unity, the throne of God and the Lamb two twenty one or twenty two one. Earth and heaven flee away. Uh, Matthew twenty four thirty five, Second Peter three ten through thirteen. In terror, a cosmic sign of the great day of the Lord and the coming of the new heaven and earth. Twenty one one. All right. And twenty twelve. Standing before God at his throne in the final judgment, the dead are confronted with their works. The books of judgment, Daniel 7.10, contain a record of men's deeds. Their own works will judge them. Psalm 61.13 and Jeremiah 17.6. This judging of believers works as a common uh, New Testament theme. Uh, Matthew sixteen twenty seven Romans two six, also Second Colossians five ten and First Peter one seventeen. See also the anaphora of the liturgy of Saint Basil, and the hymns of the Sunday of the Last Judgment. In contrast is the Book of Life. Right. It contains 
the names of all saved by grace. Uh, as we take a look at Ezekiel 32, 32, Isaiah 4, 3, and Daniel 12, 1, 2. Now, uh, not that they have no works, but that God's mercy is far greater in comparison. The Orthodox liturgy thus petitions God for a good account before the dread judgment seat of Christ. All right, so we all, let's see, I think we took a look. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, so let's look at 20, uh, 13 through 15. Uh, the, the sea, death, and Hades. The powers that held men captive show all the dead are judged. That Christ has the key, or the keys to death and Hades, or Hades. 118 expresses not his power to put men to death, but his trampling of death by death. He is victorious over death, the sea as a symbol of turbulence, chaos, and the unknown will be no more. 21.1 Death, the last enemy that will be destroyed. 1 Colossians 15.26 And Hades, the intermediate state between death and resurrection, will end. They are cast into lake, or into hell, the lake of fire. Verses 14 and 15. Along with all who reject the grace of God. Oh, mercy, my friends. We gotta get right. right? We gotta we gotta step up and get into and get in and just get right. All right, so let me go ahead and go finish out 21 here. Uh, Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I will make all things new. And he said to me, Write for... Let's see, what happened here? All right. Uh, For these words are true and faithful. All right, so let me finish this out here. Uh, Again, we're in Revelations here, friends. And he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give up the fountain of the water of life uh, freely to him who thirsts. He who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. And we're talking about here the New Jerusalem again here. uh, We're in chapter 21 in the book of Revelations. Uh, Then one of the seven angels who had the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone, like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Also, uh, uh, she had a great and high wall within twelve gates, and twelve angels at the gates, and names written on them, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Now three gates on the east, and three gates on the north. Three gates on the south. Three gates on the west. Now the wall of the city had twelve foundations. 
and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And who talked with me had a gold reed to measure the city, his gates and its walls. The city is laid out as a square. Its length is as great as, uh, as great as its breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, its length, breadth, and height uh, are equal. Then he measured its wall, 140 cubits, according to the measure of a man. That is of an angel. The construction of its walls was of jasper. And the city was pure gold, like clear glass. The foundation of the wall was adorned with all kinds of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third caledoni, uh, Caledoni, the fourth emerald, uh, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, and the ninth topaz, the tenth uh, chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each individual gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. Oh, what a man! What a what a picture that paints, friends. You know, uh, what an awesome, uh, uh, peaceful picture that pic that that. Uh, uh, it describes, right? The description of that is absolutely uh, amazing. Uh, we, I can't even fathom that, you know? All right, let's go to Healing of the Nations. We'll finish out 21 here. But I saw no temple in it. For the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its temple. The city had no need of the sun or the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God illuminated it. The Lamb is its light. And the nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light. And the kings of the earth. Uh, hang on, I got disconnected again. I don't know why. Again, with the disconnection here. So let me go back and close this out. We just got a few minutes here. Uh, friends, but let me finish up. Let's close out. Uh, for some reason, it's it's shutting down. I think it's the the uh, connection uh, we got going on out here. Mercy. <laughs> so we're gonna close out twenty one here, friends. Uh, I just wanted to uh, share this. The Spirit gave this to me again, so we'll go ahead and go into the notes here. But there shall be no means entered into anything that defiles or causes an, abomin uh, an abomination or a lie. But only those who are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. All right. Oh, mercy. Come on, channel. <laughs> Let's see. It's trying to start back up again. There we go. I don't know why it does that, but we got locked out. <laughs> or closed out. Uh, we got a little over six minutes tonight, friends, or this morning here, live at Spreaker Block Talk Radio. We started the hour out with our anchor channel. Uh, so for some reason, again, uh, I got disconnected at our Block Talk channel. So let's go over a couple of notes while it's uh, going. Uh, continuing, it's trying to restart here. All right. So apparently, uh, it's not connecting. So give me uh, a couple of minutes here, friends. Again, uh, Blog Talk Radio is uh, offline here for some reason, and I'm not really sure what's going on with it again. 
We'll see. I'll keep trying. <laughs> but we're live. Anyway, we're live at Spreaker. They got a good connection going on. And uh, looks like it's going strong. So uh, stand by here, friends. We'll be closing this out in about five minutes or so. Let's hang on here. All right. Let me see what's going on at that channel. <laughs> Give me a minute here, friends. I'm still turning. There it is. <laughs> Why, thank you, Blog Talk Radio. Oh, I appreciate that. Well, friends, there we go. Now, again, real quick, the number to call in for the guest hotline here at uh, Blog Talk Radio, 619-924-9866. Along also, now don't call it because I'm not, like I said, I'm not prepared yet. But uh, also, over at uh, CastBox Live, I'll be going on tomorrow afternoon with that channel. And, uh, well, we've got a live streaming connection there. That's awesome. So, uh, well, so we are back online here at Blog Talk Radio. Uh, They must be having some uh, pretty bad interference or something to be disconnected twice but uh oh uh, we're gonna just keep trudging right on through here friends so let me go into my side notes uh as we just got uh, a little under five minutes here uh now you guys let me know if um you know if the uh what is it the hour and a half is too long for you uh, I've been trying to kick around time frames and time, you know, to get, uh, to get, uh, I don't know, to, to keep it on schedule, you know, because I don't know, it, I was doing it at a, an hour at a time, and uh, people said, hey, it's not long enough, we need more of the word, and then I, sh- you know, and then I went to almost two hours, and uh, then I had people say, it's too long, that's not enough, you need more. So, you know, I'm just uh, I'm just being Holy Spirit led. And, uh, you know, I just never know what, uh, what to share or what to go into or how long uh, to talk about anything. So, let me know. <laughs> Let me know, my friends, over at, uh, you know, where uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com. All right, let me take a look here. Uh, let's see. Now, let me go into these notes here while well, we've got a few minutes here. Now, in verse 21, uh, 6 through 8. Uh, the water of life, or living water... John four ten through fourteen, seven thirty seven through thirty nine, or living fountains of water, Revelation seven seventeen is the grace of the Holy Spirit, bestowed along with baptism is chrismation. I'll be going back into that message too. Only the one who thirsts will be given the water forever. Verse six, and repeating the concluded uh, exhortation of each of the seven letters uh, all right only those who overcome verse 7 and I believe that's Corinthians 2 3 friends now who persist in their allegiance to God inherit of becoming permanent sons and daughters of God, and those who fall away through cowardice or unbelief uh, face instead the lake of fire. Verse 8. They lose God's inheritance, receiving them instead the damning recompense of sin and death. See, uh, take a look here. Uh, 2015 and 22, uh, 15. Along with Satan, the beasts, the false prophets, death, 
in Hades. Uh, 21.9. In stark contrast to the harlot arrayed in gaudy finery, 17.3. The messianic bride comes from God and so reflects God's splendor. Uh, right, 21.10. Like Ezekiel's, uh, John's vantage point in a, is a high mountain. Ezekiel uh, 40, Ezekiel 42, 40, verse 2. The perfected church she sees resembles Ezekiel's new temple uh, in Ezekiel 40, 42. The new Jerusalem descends out of heaven from God, for God himself completes the reunion of heaven and earth. She completes and fulfills the old Jerusalem just as the new covenant fulfills the old. All right, friends. Well, that's going to do it. That's going to wrap this one up. And uh, like I said, I got lots for you. Always got stuff on the on the plan for you. Now I'll be taking a look at some of my messages here. The uh, I finally got them done. I'm just going through Psalm right now, or the book of Psalm. And uh, excited. Uh, finally uh, got the, got all that done. Uh, where's my notes here? So, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> we are going through, well, well actually what I'm, I'm going through right now uh, is the names of, uh, of Jesus. Like in Psalm 3.3, you got the shield. He is our shield. Psalm 18.2, he is our rock. Uh, again, over in Psalm 42.9, he is our rock, right? So, I'm just going through and uh, talking about the Bible doctrines. So, I'll be starting out, uh, like I said, in the next couple of days here. Uh, I just got a few more uh, a few more pages left to do. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, God's grace for you. That is part one here, friends. Let me give you just a little sample of it. God's promise and new birth as we... Look at John 3.15 uh, and 19, of course. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3.36. I get that page too. Uh, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Uh, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Luke 9.56. Now i got some side scriptures for you. Uh, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned uh, already. All right. And like I said, still working on these notes, but uh, almost it's it's almost a wrap here. And I'm, like I said, I'm excited about that. All right, uh, because he is not, he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God, and this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because the deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Well, there you go. That's just a sample, friends. And there's about a hundred pages on this thing. Uh, sorry about this rustling. I, I know you can hear that in the podcast uh, notes here, or the you know. Uh, but that's just an example, friends. This is what I've been working on uh, for the, about a <laughs> better part of the last three weeks. Uh, so. Well, that's it, friends. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It is almost 1 a.m. I got to get up in about five hours. I am uh, making breakfast here. And uh, yes, friends, I'm getting up early and cooking some breakfast. So I appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next podcast, broadcast, worldwide live ministry podcast, midweek. I'm calling it Wednesday because that's when I started, (laughs) roughly around 11 o'clock here, but you know, these podcasts, uh, go, I just go by what the Holy Spirit throws at me. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast, Pastor Rick Crowley here, late night, early morning, 
Where is my beautiful church? I know they're still on their feet, ready to uh, close out here, friends. So let's get them on. Amen. All right, my family. Oh, I'll see you this afternoon, probably about 4.30. Check it out. Twitter, Periscope, Live. Well, not that, but you can check all the information out. Uh, of course, back over at uh, YouTube. So, have a good Thursday, would you? Get some coffee, get that word. Uh, don't forget to subscribe over at YouTube channel. We got Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, uh, and so much more. Friends, I'll see you later this afternoon, or you'll hear me later this afternoon. And then probably uh, we're looking at Friday or Saturday uh, to get back online live over at the YouTube channel. So, friends, I appreciate you. Would you have a good day and uh, be in that word and hope this uh, podcast help you out. And uh, email me over at yahoo.com, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast at yahoo.com. I will see you guys soon. And uh, don't forget, YouTube, uh, Facebook, all those channels. You guys are awesome. Stay in God's Word and uh, keep having faith, friends. Keep believing, keep trusting. Amen. I'll see you soon on the next podcast. Amen. Amen. All right. See you soon, friends.